In this video, we are going to know about seven different types of Python functions. What are their uses, how to use them and how they work. Let's see with examples. First type of function that you may be using and encountering is called built-in functions. And in built-in functions, you might be seeing something like print, sum, type, or any other Python functions that you use regularly that is built in by Python. You no need to write that, okay? These kind of functions, we can see example here, for example, print, you give something, it prints hello world. So Python interpreter knows these functions and these are already there in Python. These are called built in functions. There could be more examples of this. You can comment some of those in the comment section. The second variety of function is called user defined function. So here also we define a function using def def keyword. And for example, here I'm defining a function called hi. I'm giving name as the argument. And what this function does, it will print hi plus the name. Okay. And then I call this function. So first part from here to here is definition. From here to here is calling. And this is called as a user defined function. So in this case, hi is different from print. Print is a built-in function. Hi is a user defined function. So as a user, I defined it. Now, this can be used for multi-purpose. This can be used for modular programming. This can be used for reusability of a code. Many purposes are there for which user defined function can be used. Okay. So these are two basic things which many of us are already aware. Now let's see some critical Python functions which you use for multiple purposes. One such function is called Lambda function. Okay. So if you see here, Lambda function is basically used for using with a higher order function or a short term use where you don't want to define a function like user defined function and feature engineering. So what Lambda does is, if you see here, this is the syntax of Lambda. I'm defining a function called square and I'm writing a keyword Lambda. What it does is, this is an anonymous function, okay? So this function is not uh, similar to the user defined function. This is an anonymous function. So this single liners are the ones how we write Lambda. And then I'm calling this like this. So what will happen is this gets registered in the memory as this keyword square. And I can call square with the right arguments and I will get the result. Where I can use Lambda functions, I can use for feature engineering. I can use for short term usage. I can use with any other higher order functions. Okay. The fourth type of function I want you to aware of is known as generator function. Please be careful. This is very important function for efficient memory management. If you are dealing with a large data set or infinite sequences, if you are working with something on the streaming data where you do not want all data together, you want data to keep flowing one after another, one after another, right? What you use as a generator function, what happens in generator is there is a keyword called yield. Okay. And here there is a concept of generating the values one by one. For example, here I'm defining a function called simple generator. I'm initializing that with num1. I'm saying while num less than five, yield num num plus one. This is my generator function because I'm using the keyword yield here. Okay. And then I will call this function and I will, what I'm doing is I'm showing you how the value is getting generated one by one. So I have two options. I can get all values 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 together, or I can get it one by one. What generator tells you is get the value one by one and manage your memory well. As I said, this is useful for memory management. This is useful for streaming kind of scenario. Remember generator function yield keyword. Okay. If you want to know more about any of these functions or whatever I'm explaining, you can simply go to YouTube and search for unfold data science Python playlist. At the moment you search unfold data science Python playlist, you will come across this playlist. There are 17 videos here. And if you can see on the bottom last video is how to write generators in Python. Okay. How to write decorators in Python class and inheritance. So all these things are covered here in detail. If you want to know more details, you can refer to this playlist. Going back to our discussion here, generator is one type of function. The next function is called recursive function. What happens in recursive function is function calls itself. And this type of scenario, we will use it. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ फैक्टोरियल ऑफ ए नंबर सीरीज और फाइंडिंग पावर्स ऑफ ए नंबर इफ यू हैव दीज काइंड ऑफ सीनेरियोज राइट देन यू यूज रिकर्सिव फंक्शन वट रिकर्सिव फंक्शन डज इफ यू सी केयरफुली हियर द नेम ऑफ द फंक्शन इज रिकर्सिव काउंट डाउन एंड इन साइड द फंक्शन वी आर कॉलिंग द सेम फंक्शन इफ यू सी हियर द नेम इज सेम हियर ओके सो वट वी आर डूइंग हियर वी आर सिंपली कॉलिंग दिस फंक्शन इन साइड दिस फंक्शन सो वेन आई डू दिस राइट it will work very simply like it will call itself and it will give a result like this but what you should remember is a recursive function is used for calling function inside of it okay the next function is called decorators as i was showing you in this playlist right decorators is the second last concept very crucial very important concept for from python point of view please watch this 15 minute video i have explained in detail about decorators but to give you a glimpse of what are decorators decorators are a special type of function in python that is used for adding functionalities like logging timing etc to existing function in a clean and reusable way without modifying the original code suppose there is a function called say hello okay and what i want to do is i want to do something before this and something after this when this function is called right i want to do something before this function call and something after this function call what i can do is i can write this function inside a decorator like this okay what i can say is this is my decorator my function is this function and i will simply say this is the wrapper so uh, what i am highlighting from here to here this is the wrapper so this func is the original function this is what happens before the function call this is what happens after the function call and this is the wrapper okay so when you call this function say hello what will happen is internally this wrapper will get called and this wrapper this thing will get executed and this thing will get executed so as you can see in the result below something is happening before function call something is happening after function call okay and the function is getting called and how you say which function you want to decorate so you write something like at my underscore decorator where my decorator is the name of this function as i said more details in this playlist okay the last type of function as a data scientist and data analyst you should be aware of map filter and reduce function as you can see map applies a function to each element of an attribute you can take a list for example filter selects elements from a attribute based on the condition you can take it as a filter and reduce combines element in attribute into a single result for example this is a function square function okay and this is a list suppose i want to apply this square function to all the elements of this list how i can do that is i can say list map square to numbers if i do this you see that in the output all the numbers of this list are squared okay if i want to check if elements are even or not even so what i am trying to do i am trying to give a filter so list filter is even number same way is even is a different function square is a different function what i am applying i am applying a filter function on numbers what i will get as output i will get only the even numbers okay so as chat gpt or ai has start generating something let me stop it it is integrated with uh, this one google collab now it is okay no problem so here what we are doing is we are we are understanding map filter and reduce so map is mapping a function to all the elements of a attribute filter is filtering and here reduce is basically if you want to apply something to all the elements of a list or a attribute so what i am doing this is my multiply i am saying reduce multiply to numbers so what reduce will do is it will multiply all the numbers of this list okay so 5 4 20 23 60 62 are 120 and 120 into 1 120 that is what you are able to see in the result here 120 okay so remember these three functions this this will be called in one category map for mapping to one attribute list for uh, re, uh, filter for filtering and reduce for multiplying kind of scenario or reducing remember these seven type of functions guys your life in data analysis journey will be very easy Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care